Howdy Shell, and I am currently in the play by Stephen Karam, The Humans. I'm in that play too. I'm Reed Burney. And we have uh, questions from folks uh, to ask each other. Yeah. Thanks for the questions. This is from Henry. Okay. How often do you hear, oh my God, you are so my mom in The Humans? Every night. <laughs> it's unreal. I, I have never been so many persons mom in my <laughs> life. It, it just, people are so sweet. They come back. This play is unique in that when people come to the stage door, they, they like ask you to sign and maybe take a picture or something, but they really need to talk about themselves which is the greatest compliment because that means the play is doing its job. They've been touched in a very personal way and because I play the mother in the play, of course I hear, oh my God, you're like my mom all the time. Okay, this is from Holly. This is from Holly, Reed. Uh, Hi, Holly. Oh, <laughs> where do you keep your Tony Award? Oh, well, Holly. Um, <laughs> it's. In our bedroom, uh, between the two windows that look out on 86th Street, we have a weird little skinny bookshelf, and the Tony Ward fits in there perfectly. So uh -huh. it's the last thing I see at night and the oh. first thing I see in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Just in case you forgot. <laughs> yeah, just in case. <laughs> mm -hmm. From Ella, I'm such a fan of your career. Whose career do you admire? Oh, thanks, Ella, number one. Uh, number two, who do I admire? Edie Falco, Edie Falco, Edie Falco. I admire her work enormously. I think just think she's a tremendous actress. But the trajectory of her career is really noble to me. And her standards and values about not only what it is to be an actor, but just to, to live a good life. I really admire her a great deal. Okay, Reed, this is from Anthony. Tell us about working with Lena Dunham. Andrew Rannells and Patty Lapone on Girls. Amazing. Um, I did one episode of Girls uh, a couple of years ago. They, I, I had never watched the show, and they just called up and asked me to do this thing, which was great to play Mr. Patty Lapone. And so we ran the thing, and then Lena said, "So let's just improv." My worst nightmare. <laughs> it's like, well, blah, 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 blah. So we started improving, and it was so much fun. I bet you're really good at it. Well, uh, you know, there's the pressure to be funny, but um, we filmed enough for a feature film, wow. I think. And I think ultimately what they ended up using on the show was pretty much what she had written originally. But um, it was, I think, my most favorite thing I've ever done on film. Oh, wow. I really am proud of it, and it was a great, great day. I've got to watch that episode. I've never seen it. HBO, season three, episode four. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> How tired of you are you of eating that same Thanksgiving dinner every night in The Humans? This tired. <laughs> um, it's, it's challenging. Um, and yet, because when you're in the, the actual momentum of the play and everything, when you get there, you just do it. And, and I don't think about it as I'm eating it. It's the anticipation of it that's a little uh, upsetting sometimes. Mm. Because, you know, it's processed turkey, it's canned gravy, it's stovetop stuffing and instant mashed potatoes. You say that like it's a bad thing. And it's all cold. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we do that eight times a week. So, yeah, it's a challenge. I still love Thanksgiving dinner, though. I'm, I, I mean, do too. If, if it were real turkey and real mashed potatoes, I, I'd be down for it. Uh, this is from Jeffrey. B has being uh, on House of Cards made you see politics in a different light? Good question, Jeffrey. Well, you know, when we started House of Cards, I thought this was, um, you know, a real extreme version. The soap opera aspect of the drama, um, you know, who would believe it? Now it just feels tame <laughs> compared yeah, to what's, to re what's really, really going, going on. on. Yeah, yeah I, I don't, um, 
the, the disconnect between what's happening on House of Cards and what's really happening is so outrageous that uh, it doesn't even feel like politics. That's the thing, it doesn't really feel like politics anymore, does it? What's really happening? No, it doesn't. It's like a clown show. No, it's like a clown show and it's like a really bad conversation that you just wish would end. Yeah. Mm. Well, it might end soon. Yeah, well. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what did you love most about playing Madame Morrible in Wicked? Oh, well, hmm. the learning curve was very steep for me in that. That was my first big Broadway musical. And uh, I, I, again, I felt like I'd plopped down in odds. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was surreal because of the numbers of people in the company which I loved. I came to adore the company that I worked with and there were many of them that would come and go, but they were all young kids and very talented and, and inspiring to be around. And I loved the crew. The crew is huge over there. Um, you know, it's just everything about it's big, big, big. From Mark. Was it fun getting in touch with your feminine side in Casa Valentina? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. Uh, I will confess that I never in my life thought about putting on women's clothing. Thought about a lot of things, I never thought about that. And um, it was incredibly freeing. Yeah. It was really something. Um, we did a little uh, makeup boot camp for the first three days of, of rehearsal where we all came in and we were all shaking like crazy, but they <laughs> taught us how to do makeup and put wigs on us and bras and girls and things. And um, it was ultimately kind of thrilling to, because it, you didn't have to think about being a guy. Right. You know, I think all of us understand that you, you think about being a guy and to take that off the table is like, oh, I can, use my full imagination, because there was sort of no boundary. Wow, okay, so how was it wearing those pumps? Let me ask the girls in the audience, why didn't you burn high heels instead of bras? Because bras actually seem to serve a purpose to me. High heels are insane. Well, we kind of dropped the high heels during that period of feminism as well. There's a lot of Birkenstocks out there. You but know. they're back now. They are back. Like this. So are bras. <laughs> so are bras. <laughs> it all came back with a vengeance. And nothing worked. What was your favorite role you played in high school or college? Oh, uh, I think uh, Madame Arcati in Blythe Spirit, my sophomore year in high school. I was 15. <laughs> and <laughs> And I did not question <laughs> that I was young for the part at all. Because everybody else was age appropriate, I'm I, sure. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I felt absolutely right for it, and I owned it entirely. I also fractured my coccyx doing it, because uh, when I went into trance one day in rehearsal, I fell backwards off a stool, and I just went straight down, bam, on my butt straight. I didn't... And my teacher said, don't ever do that again, Janie. <laughs> yes. It's a way to hurt yourself. Just mm. And she gave me a lecture on how to fall on the oh. meaty part of your yeah. rear end and break the fall and fall to the side and relax and all of that. And I did that dutifully in rehearsal for the rest of rehearsals. And then we got to the night and I thought, it's not funny that way. <laughs> so I went back to the old way and went bam and got a huge laugh and then was in a lot of pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Read, this is from Les. If you and your wife Constance Schulman were to star together on Broadway, what show would you want to do? Ooh, Good question. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. Um, that would be something. I actually would be terrified. She, Connie is such a good actor. I feel like she'd mop the stage up with me and she would actually be in rehearsal, she would turn to me and say, are you gonna do it like that? <laughs> <laughs> and she'd be right. Both our kids are actors too, so really the one we should look for is a play for all four of us. Mm. Um, what would the, what's a family play with all four? Life with father. Oh, I did, did I don't think there they had daughters. There are 400 children so. in that. Yeah, 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 let's see. 
Um, hmm. Well, maybe when the kids are a little bit older, you guys could do Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? <laughs> and they could play Nick and Honey. That would be so incredibly twisted. It would be really <laughs> weird. <laughs> We'd run for years. <laughs> Yeah, let's not think about that. Okay. Uh, I'll have to get back to you, Les, on that one. Uh, um, yeah. I just want to say thank you to all of our fans who took the time to uh, submit these great questions. And uh, if you haven't seen The Humans, come and see us at the Schoenfeld Theater. Yeah, it, it, very good questions. Thank you very much. It was lots and lots of fun.